So I have this video recorded months ago, back in April when Alco first came out. But the thing is using Alco um, maxed out feels very, very different to using her uh, when her skill isn't like maxed out. Like there's a big difference between a four turn cooldown uh, star bomb and a two turn, uh, especially for trying to like max out bomb points and do teapot runs on the 90 double star i can promise you using a 555 alco feels ridiculously different compared to using a 10 10 10. that two turn star bomb like really really just hits different especially when you're not trying to three turn and you know it's gonna be a longer fight that is where alco's strength is always gonna lie um as a support I need to preface this because I have Alco at MP1 maxed out. And I have her at MP2 maxed out. The dip, the big difference between uh, the one and two is the fact that Super Alco, she really wants to not be MP1. It dramatically helps her gameplay and stops you from wasting excess charge. And it's not even you need mp2 for a pens it's literally just so your uh, mp gauge goes beyond 100 percent and you can overcharge um in case someone drains or she drains herself so it's time i finally get started on this video like i chose one hell of a day to actually decide to make this video well, i'm just saying it all right so we're gonna go at this one at a time and for, I'm only gonna mention normal Alco stats and then we're gonna go back and do Super Alco. Uh, normal Alco, 11.3K attack. Uh, in her normal form, I see her more as a support period. So this to me doesn't even bother. HP, uh, 14K, I do like this. It does make her a little more tanky. Uh, especially since she's already not going to be taking more damage from Berserkers. <sighs> Unless you bring her to fight Alter Egos, you really shouldn't run into problems of Alco dying. In fact, like most of the time I'm trying to do those teapot runs, Vich is always the one that's dying before Alco. Like Alco is out from the start and she's at almost full HP. Vich comes in like a couple turns and she is halfway dead. That's just how it be sometimes. Her attribute change is based on what form she's in. Uh, normal Alco is man attribute, star weight, star gen. Uh, these are foreigner numbers. It'd be charged 0.55%. Uh, I do feel this is a little low, but considering like super normal Alco, like she's just waiting to she's basically just waiting to get her mp uh this honestly is enough for her art script to or just her art scar to kind of just get her at least i want to say 20 percent because after you unlock mana loading you just need the 20 percent and then her second skill will carry her charge all the way till she mps Uh, yep, this stuff is normal. Uh, her default state has a buddy servant trait. Um, apparently every single Nasu poster girl has a bunny form now. Wait, does it rush? Is there a ring with a bunny form? I don't know. Maybe, probably not a Sakura with a bounty form either. Uh, no, what they Rin, yes, be uh, Sakura. Eh. He wants to be a magical girl more than a funny girl. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, all right, next deck quick card four hits, good art scar three hits, good two of them, buster card three hits, good extra attack five hits. This extra attack is gonna gen a lot of stars, but. You're probably not extra attacking with normal Al Alco. We're probably not. The two reasons why you shouldn't do it 
Uh, first off, she's supposed to be a support in this normal form. Second off, if you do use an extra attack, you burn all your magic bullets. And you do not want to do that in normal Alco form. That is for Super Alco. So, first skill. Again, I truly hesitated on making this uh, video like for months just because it took me so long to get everything ready for Alco. Uh, you give yourself three magic bullets. Each magic bullet gives you a 50% attack buff. And when you do the extra attack, you remove all of your extra, um, your magic bullets. Based on people's testing, this goes beyond the attack cap. Because usually uh, there is an, a ceiling for how many attack buffs you can get on a character before like it, it just doesn't do anything. Uh, these magic bullets go beyond that cap. So when you, if you really want to roid out your Alco, specifically Super Alco, uh, probably want to look into like looking at the formulas more to know, okay, uh, these buffers are not going to do anything for Alco. He's just going to overcap. Let me do other buffers instead. And like I said earlier, 20 star bomb on a two turn cooldown. You want to be spamming this as much as possible. Second skill. 20% gauge for the entire party for three turns. But this is on her. This part is on her. The 20 gauge uh, is a buff she has. Uh, at the end of the turn, he is going to give everyone 20%. It's not like Merlin, how he gives everyone MP gen. If Alco dies, you don't get the 20%. Uh, 10 stars per turn is nice. And when you uh, MP in normal Alco, you will lose these buffs. Um, yes, I believe it's both the uh, uh, stars per turn and the MP gen. Although I'm pretty sure stars per turn just doesn't, it doesn't matter that much. But this here, you might feel for a turn, but afterwards it doesn't matter. Third skill, 30% arts, 30% quick, 30% buster, 30% crit damage for, and 2k heal per turn targeted for one ally. And then she gives them a little buff called protagonist crush correction. Any, any ability they have that says demerit on it, this negates it. They will not take that effect. And we hear here, we see it here. If you look at this site and the skill, it says demerit. You just won't do it. But if it's a sacrifice or it costs something, then, then it won't work. So you can't stop a rash from killing themselves. You can't stop have a trot for killing themselves you can't uh you can't negate cuckoo caught like taking away your stars um summer kiara uh her stacks that she uses for skill two and three uh they will not they don't go away uh can't block oberon so it's like if if a servant needs like an ability to for them to function like it's a part of their kit it's usually a cost so I'll, this skill not gonna affect them but for servants like fran um that stuns themselves on mp for like two turns alco is probably the best support for uh fran outside of double um double scotty bb uh, no it hasn't been double Scotty BB for a while. Double Scotty Karna, uh, because he had the cleanse and he had a targeted battery. Okay, any any kind of servant that has like a negative demerit, Alco can just take care of it, and you don't have to worry about it. Oh, here's another example: Summer Musashi. Her third skill takes away like five thousand HP. If you put this on her, she will not consume her HP like that. 
So again, first form Alco as a support by herself, she's not that bad. Like targeted 30 uh, quick along with charge return. This is something quick is needed for a while. If you're not going to give quick MP charge, giving them like raw MP is probably just as good because 20% for a quick unit, they're mostly trying to loop for to try to get to 50. 20 per turn, you just need 30. And a lot of quick units do not have problems at least hitting 30. Like majority of the quick units, uh, I'm, I'm kicking the low hanging fruit, but Achilles, like most of the time he's looping, like in, I think double Scotty, he's looping about 30. So if you threw in Alco, not only would he loop like 35, 40, but he'd also hit the threshold uh, and get past 50 because of the charge. Burn. More passives. Existence outside the domain, two stars, Van Gogh synergy, but he's not a credit servant. And I really wouldn't try to make her be a crit servant uh, for arts guards. It's just not going to work. And I'm talking about like super Alco too. Like unless you are really, unless you have like Popus Johanna, and even then, like I wouldn't say bring Van Gogh. Um, I would say just like buff her other cards over just a Van Gogh. Um. Actually, let me think about that for a second. No, because th at that point, you're having two quasi supports basically try to support each other. And neither one of them is like really helping out the other. So it's like you're giving up two good supports and making them like mess supports for each other. So it's there if you have the servants to make it work focus johanna um lady avalon i guess or even more stars per turn castoria like all that stuff if you want to make super alco be a crit um arts crit dps she does have triple arts so like popus johanna actually gets more card usage but that that's different conversation Territory creation E, arts up 2%. Item construction E, debuff success rate 2%. I believe the debuff is for her MP. Super outgoes. Here's a nice little passive though that OG, or that both of them have. Um, any invul she has turns into solemn defense. Yeah. I'm not going to say they're trying to devalue Castoria, but they're trying to give other servants this anti-purge defense so that Castoria is not the only person that can give it. Uh, if anything, it's showing like the servants that have these are like some of the strongest in the fucking verse. Uh, like the four servants I know that have this is Castoria, Castoria, Cuckoo, and Alco. Uh, two of which are the same person and they come right from Avalon so and we're never human one's a magician and cuckoo is a fucking headache that I don't think anyone wants to deal with at five in the morning both in lore <laughs> and personality wise I think Tez would actually try to kill himself if cuckoo walked into his room while he's sleeping Oh my god, not this shit this early. Alright. Uh but rest of the skill. Debuff resistance 20%. And skill res 20%. And buff removal resistance 20%. Uh nice stuff to have. They're not gonna it's not gonna stop you from losing your buffs. It's not entirely gonna stop you from getting insta-killed. Honestly, oh wait, actually. Yeah, no, for regular Alco probably that's probably never gonna happen super alco probably never gonna happen but i just insta killed beowulf um farming 90 plus plus so that was funny so uh, never say never it might actually happen walk around and get embarrassed uh we'll come back to your leader all right 
So, pens. Uh, I'm going to say be very, very careful about using the skill or uh, skill reloading with Alco. The reason is because this is on such a short cooldown, if you do not pop these, uh, you might waste the cooldown reduction on spamming magic bullets, which I mean, like it depends on how you're using her. It might actually work out and be like really, really funny that you're every turn you're popping a uh, 20 star bomb. Um, but yeah, like the timing for it, not great because you pretty much only like you wouldn't be able to pop out if that was your plan. You wouldn't be able to pop Alco's uh, other two skills until turn three. And one of those skills doesn't do anything on turn for turn three at the start, of, like during the turn. It's only at the end. We're coming back to extra attack, and I am going to say, unless you have MP2 Alco, you should not unlock this. Uh, I know in the past, before we had these two, I would recommend extra attack. Alco specifically, if you do not have MP2, this is not going to perform that well. You can kind of see it with her base stats, at least normal, especially normal Alco, lower attack, and mid mp gen decent star weight uh a again support is like getting extra attack on castoria it's like you can do it and it will do okay but you should be focusing on your other uh servants manual loading though as a support this should be first priority uh it makes going into super alco a lot easier if you're not starting her from a specific charge. And again, it's a drawn out fight. Starting like starting from 20. Uh, if you're not clicking Alco cards in the stall, you might not even get her MP. Like you might be short a couple percentages and you'll, you'll wish you had this. All right, MP. And then we're going back to the top. And, um, I'm talking, I'll be talking specifically about Super Alco. So you transform yourself into Super, Super Alco. That's the main effect of this MP. Buster performance up permanently and extra tax uh, performance up permanently. So here's the reason why. The AOE attacks, they're Cut in half. Or and I don't mean that in the sense of like their damage. Like it says right here, everything about it is cut in half. Like extra attack boosts all boosts all aspects of a servant or all aspects of the as extra attack based on their base stats. This is basically a reverse extra attack performance. But it's and it's not even just for extra attack. It's also for the Buster card. So the reason you'd want higher than MP1 is because 20% is not going to come close to like the difference of these two being of um, these two being AOE. Only like MP2, it's not great, but it's still better at MP5, I believe. They somewhat cancel out, but I believe because this happens in a different part of the formula, uh, it changes the base number and it's harder to make up for that in other parts of the formula. If like one part of it is actively being dragged down, it's like you have two times nine times 10 and then the ten times 10 itself is divided by 100. So now like everything is from that problem is now divided by 10. It's like your other buffs can be good. Your damage isn't that was a bad that was a very bad example from talking about like damage numbers. But that that's the part of, I'm talking about. Like if you have one part of your formula that is that doesn't have an additive part 
that you can't uh, give other buffs to make up for it, it drags down other parts of the formula. Like, the difference between having super effective damage on an... It really is, that, like, the difference between having a super effective mod and not, like, the damage you need to make up for it, drastically different compared to, it, like, in comparison, like, one super effective mod is you hyper buffing, like, a lot more buster uh, and attack buffs than what you would need on that super effective niche. Sorry again for the little just disjointedness. Something happened in the recording, so adding this in later. Um, the calc, the crits, they're calculated per enemy. So, uh, say you have an 80% chance to crit. Some of the enemies you hit might crit. Some of them might not. That's something you have to deal with. Skill cooldowns are inherited from the default stage. This is so that if you pop this skill on as super, uh, regular Alco, it's on two turn, you MP that turn. It's so that when you come back to super Alco, it says one turn and not three turns or God forgive four. God. Oof. Would, wait, who would, is that cheat? Wait. If I say God forbid in FGO, who exactly am I talking about? It's Shiki, right? It has to be Shiki. Otherwise, we have a big problem of people saying that. Probably ha like half the servants of Caldea would be answering. Um. Anyway, if the school, if the skill cooldown didn't reset, you would be running into issues with this skill that's on an eight turn, and this is on a seven. They just wouldn't be lining up. Uh. Oh yeah, last thing, like you like if you're popping one of these two, you always want to be popping the other. You don't you do not want to pop this and not pop this. Um for more sustained fights. Again, if you're doing other stuff, like you plan on going right to Super Alco, a little different strategies there, like you'd load up with a 50 or something. And last thing to add into the original recording uh both versions of alco are supports uh it just like alco kind of goes from og scotty in form one to like uh ruler scotty in super alco form like one is like strictly a support the other is a support that also can do damage if you need her to not if you're not buffing alco she's probably not going to be the best but she definitely has supportive utilities no matter what form she's in especially with this DL uh bb stuff but you're again at lower copies you are going to run into so many issues where alco is just not killing the benefit is alco can't will have her extra attack and that's aoe too but their magic bullet supply is gonna go straight down the crapper at that point if you're only spamming buster cards good Oh, I almost forgot how to like talking about this. So yeah, sorry. I'm scatterbrained on this again. It's early in the morning uh, and there's just a lot to talk about for Alco. The way this AOE works, and especially if you don't love spell seven, you do you use our arts card and then you use your bust card. If you kill on the arts card and there's no more enemies, the turn's just going to move on. These AOE cards count as basically like another character is attacking or you're using your MP. It stalls out the carding order, which is something that CL has a lot of problems with when she pops her third skill. If she doesn't have her MP, she is only hitting one enemy. If, and if there's two enemies, you are shit out of luck. She needs the MP that turn. If there are three enemies, oof. You, if there are three enemies and she doesn't have your MP, you're in for a very, very bad time. But Alco, if 
her buster card is able to kill shit, you clear through waves very, very, very quickly. Because a face card is significantly faster than an MP animation that takes between 5, 10, 15 seconds. Super Alco. She gives way more magic bullets. Stage 1, default key 3. Super Alco gives 4 for her 4 turn cooldown. Magic bullets are pretty much the same. She does not give stars return, but she gives herself an invul and a 30% arts buff. And then remember, any invul turns into anti purge. And she also has that buff removal resistance, so even if she's fighting someone that has buff removal, there's always the chance that like her buffs just stay there and she just won't take damage that turn. Uh, just thought I'd bring that up. Second skill is a 100% battery and a 40 star bomb. That's why it got taken off here. They moved it to the battery. Third skill is the reason why if you use Super Alco a lot, you want MP2. Because of this 100% uh, battery, this costs 100%. So if you're at 60% battery and you're MP1, you pop this, you're at 100%. Drain, you're at zero and you just lost 60 gauge. That is probably the biggest reason for anyone to say you need to summon for MP2 for this character. It is not a, this character is marginally different or marginally different. Like she does slightly more damage. No, like it, it's, a fundamentally fundamental part of this version's kit for being able to go above 100 percent because i have done this on my alt that is mp1 and literally it was way to turn for alco maybe to get this back off cooldown to be able to chain this or she's at 60 and the enemy is going to MP, but Alco's MP can kill it. But it's not killing the whole wave because the actual boss is going to MP that next turn. In addition to that, uh, more buster up. 50% buster up for five turns, 100% extra attack damage for five turns. It does, again, it makes up for the fact that these values are halved for their modifiers. But it's not going to completely fix it. This is still going to be weaker than if you gave this to any other character. Uh, and they have uh, single target buster cards and extra attack. Whole gauge gets a 50% battery and reduces the whole party's skill cooldown by two, except for herself. Because... Then we'd have a space rush situation where her entire kit, it says it's four, seven, eight, but it would actually be two, uh, five, six, which is pretty much a rush is cool. Not entirely, but it's not that far off what a rush actually does. Super Alco's passives. She generates two magic bullets every turn. And she gens uh, 10 gauge for the party and three stars every turn. But she also gets two here. So this is why second skill is removed because instead of using it as a skill, it it's becomes half its value as a passive. And last thing is Super Alco's MP. Ignore invul for one turn. Ignores defense for one turn. Damage to all enemies. And up to 100% super effective mod based on magic bullets. Uh, you can hold up to 20. This MP takes away 10 at a time. And then the extra attack takes up all of them. Still, the support utility here is the fact that you have defense down and it activates before damage. And you can use this right before someone else's MP. And not only do they get OC, but they also get a little uh, defense down too. So, should help the damage. 
Unfortunately, because she is a foreigner, she takes a bunch of different mats and it, it's not fun. These mats are not fun. Could be worse. Could be foreign guard hearts. We could have made her need 24 in guard arts for some ungodly reason. If there were foreign god hearts here, I would have laughed my ass off. Um, but yeah, you need a lot of lamps, a lot of emblems, and a lot of comet shards for her. Like more, I don't want to say more than usual, but like just a lot in general. And finally, Bonsi, MP damage 30%, and she gets an extra magic bullet every turn, which... Uh, I'm going to stop talking about, like, these become more passive, because, like, I, I don't know if that's actually going to happen or something else at this point. This is not a character for everyone. This is just a really fun character that introduces some a breath of fresh air into this game um i do think this was a quick support or i think one of her better functions is as a quick support um if you don't have both scotties um and you kind of don't want to get like caster scotty i kind of understand it i don't agree with it but i understand it uh, like it's either you pick Scotty when you already have ruler Scotty or you pick Alco that works on more uh, car types than just quick Scotty works well with quick but if you're not a fan of quick you probably get more fun of having out of having Alco than Scotty oh, I'm sorry this video came out so late uh, I'm I'm probably going to spend a good amount of time after uh, the BB Dubai banner going back. Uh, we still have Ordeal Call 3 banners to go over. And, or two. Ordeal Call 2. The Dante stuff like Summer Marie, um, Cagliosta. I think that's how you pronounced. Um, and I think Alice too. So I'm going to try and make up those videos. Um, at least now I get to talk about the other pens. Um, yeah, it's already late. I'm going to try to stick to my new streaming schedule for the next week too, or start, start getting into that schedule, which unfortunately is me waking up at four recording at five and then streaming for like two hours before I go to work. Uh, uh, I'm kind of talking about this just because this is a long video in general, but uh, yeah, people like watching FGO in the morning and that time just does not work for my work schedule. If I lived on in Cali, there would be no issues, but I live on the East Coast. So yeah, three hours after any JP update, I have to go to work is what it is. All right. That's I'm stretch this out stretched out this video longer than I even needed to. This is probably one of my bigger ones. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.